the sound of ancient languages you haven't seen anything like this before oh really so those are ai generated ancient languages and today we are going to listen to those setjum stór rökstóla bróðir hvað hef ég gjört til að bera svo báa kvennhitni um við bræður nú þann þroska að kvennefni myndu mök á oss leita hví hefur oss eigi orðið ágengt í þeim efnum Þeir gekk að ég kveiti betur en skinn hefðu góða guður er sæmdu þann sið að ég skuli deyja einn og yfirgefinn Þeir gekk viti betur en skinn hefðu góða guður er sæmdu þann sið að ég skuli deyja einn og yfirgefinn You know what's like interesting here? Some words almost remind me a tiny bit of German like there were a few words that did sound a bit like that and yeah, this is how the Vikings used to sound like, really? <laughs> that is actually really, really interesting. Like, it's crazy. So so with AI, you can, like, recreate old languages or what? It sounds fascinating. So that's how they used to talk in the Viking era. Wow. Wow. Yan Yan Awahal To Hopo no Kokin To Hal Nakaan To Kibi Ka U Hopo Lyle Shopom Yumka and Kamik Ubutsak Ka Utsia Uchil To Kuyich Yam Ki Fascinating Oh, now we had like maybe uh, actually one of my uh, most favorite ancient languages and this is like old school Latin. I don't talk about like Latin you see in like medicine, but this kind of old school Latin where they actually communicate with each other and stuff. Because now nowadays if you like learn Latin somewhere, you mostly learn like the, like you still learn like sentences and stuff. But at least this is like here in Germany and I, I know this from like some friends that actually learned and had Latin classes in school. They actually learn more like words that are used, for example, in the medicine era and in, like in biology and stuff. But like basic communication is not being delivered as much. So yeah, let's listen to how Caesar used to talk like. <laughs> Fortunas. Atque hoc domicilium clarissimi imperi, fortunatissima, pulque rimanque urbem odierno die, deorum immortalium sum erga vos amore, laboribus, consilis, periculis meis, e flammatque ferro, ac pane... You know, it's like interesting here when you listen like to some of the things he says, like this is like very similar, if not identical, like some words to like, okay, it's like a different pronunciation, right? But to like I I Italian, right? Like the, the fascinating thing is about like Latin is like this language like doesn't really exist anymore. But it's actually like the origin of like modern day Italian language, right? So you will sometimes when you hear this like hear out words that are very similar if not even identical to today's like italian right but some words are not being used and different it's actually fascinating i actually have like this one friend that's italian and he actually taught me this that some of the latin words were used in the modern day italian language and they stayed mostly the same maybe there are like some pronunciation differences but otherwise like s some parts are uh, identical and there was like a video I saw by some dude uh, talking in Latin to someone and this person was Italian and they understood parts of it actually what well, is actually f very fascinating what what <laughs> You know how that sounds like? That sounds like a, a person from Europe that's like learning Chinese and then going on vacation to maybe, I don't know, somewhere like Shanghai, for example, or maybe to... I don't know Guangdong or some place, and then he's like trying to speak in in Chinese to the locals there or something. Like seriously, this sounds like a foreigner speaking Chinese somewhere or going to Beijing and like 
I'm the exchange student from uh, Beijing or something. I'm, I'm here for like some months. You know what? Let me befriend some locals there or something. Like it sounds like that, right? Like a foreigner going to Beijing that learned Chinese for some years and then trying to communicate. <laughs> like the words are, I don't know, like they're pronounced differently here, right? They sound kind of like more rough spoken and there are not so many ups and downs, right? It's like more on the same frequency, right? Like what I usually hear from like friends or like I had also like in, in, in during college days from like exchange students from China, when they speak Chinese, they have like those words where they go like, huh, huh, what? Uh, no, uh, and they go like up and down, right? You guys get what I mean? Like the ending, for example, of a word. Like sometimes they say it a little louder or something. But here's kind of on the same wavelength every word pronounced, right? Like there are not many uh, jumps here when it comes to like like volume and stuff. Yeah. Why is it because it's AI? Because you wait for Nelson, so the next become Hayan Husses, who hit ring dana after bear there, you boon half done. Fan tha there. Wait, did you say, did you say you boon half done? Did, did, you say, did you say you have been half done or what? Like, this is old English, right? So I should be able to understand some words. So I'm going to listen closely again and see if I, if I, if I make out any words and understand a bit. Next become Hayan Husses. Who hit ring dana after bear there, ye boon half done. What Fan is who's half done? Inna, athalinga ye drekt, swefan after symbol. After a symbol. Sorgen e kuthan, one shaft wera, wicked on hell or grim on grady, ye rosona was, reuch on retha on rasta ye nam, thrichti thena. Than on efty way. Okay, I watch a lot of anime with freaking subtitles and I have to say this is actually not super far from like the modern Japanese. Like sure, some words are pronounced differently here and here again, like some sometimes I feel like, but this could be because of the AI one, right? Like because it's like generated with AI, but this is like the same with like middle Chinese. Some words are pronounced softer here and in and, and a more low volume, right? Because in Japanese, it's not as strong as it is, for example, in Chinese, where you say certain words, like you go like up and down, right? But I still feel like this is, I don't know, is it like, is it like more simple? Kind of like more simple, maybe, right? But it's interesting. It's actually not too far from like uh, modern uh, Japanese. But to those of you that speak like native Japanese, if you are here, um, do you hear out like some words? Like, do you understand what this person here is saying or you don't? I actually wonder if like someone from modern day Japan would understand this. <laughs> You know what I wish they would actually freaking... This is auto-generated. I don't think those subtitles are useful. I would love to say what they are... Like, I would love to see what they are actually saying. Yeah, auto translate does not work here. Old church Slavonic. Is that how the old, uh, old school pop used to speak? Like hundreds of years ago? Yeah. <laughs> Glusi slyšant slovo Bukovino je. Boga, že ubo poznati dostojit. Togo, že radi slyšite slovjanja si. Darbo je... Fate ansros, esi jo enem esi, esti kati o san mantovos. That's a Celtic language. Vigeto e tuageti, puta toa uraga esti, en diarai, keni esti enem esi. 
Sanatik. Okay, here I have a hard time figuring out if this influenced any of our modern day languages. Like, do you guys hear out any language that is spoken today that was influenced by the proto Celtic language here? Like, I can't hear out any words here that I can fit into any language I ever heard before. Kenny S D N M S E. Kenny S D N S M E. I like this. Whatever that means. Es di cade an mantovos, rigeto vetureti, puta tova rakesti. Indiara e keni es di enemesi. Anathar pae de... Yusraf, yen hama, fa shemu yer wut nacher nye pla hendemi. That's how the pharaoh used to speak or what? Yereru, hened nit wut nacher, hen ha, shulie bachorei tab, wo bainer, hena hamuna charneb, harbao. Yem hat wo bainer, hamus yam nechus, ha ha en red. Fascinating. Why does it sound like freaking spell casting? Like the last part, it kind of sounds like he's casting some spell or a curse or something, right? Like listen to this again. Yam nechus. Yam nechus. Ha so kya chow yo so. Wanne maya do yaru. Wait, what language is this? I never heard about this before. Ryukyuan language, the language branch of the R Ryukyu Islands in East China Sea. According to one version, it is a dialect of the Japanese language. According to another, it comes from the Altaic language family. Wow. It sounds more Japanese, yes. It's, it doesn't sound Chinese at all. You know what's interesting? This sounds like more Japanese than the old Japanese to me right now. Is it because the way like uh, this was being pronounced? But this sounds more like modern Japanese than the old Japanese. <laughs> ウレ初戦にのチュヌナ感じ。エウスメンクロコペプロサパキアヌヨソアオンオーンウィッヒナタナトイシポスペルイエデブロ。Sounds like he's telling us a story or something. You know how, the, how this guy did sound like? He, like if, if I had to translate this in English, it's kind of like he was telling a story. Long ago, hundreds of hundred years ago, there was a hero. And this hero was called, I don't know, some random name. And he used to have an issue where like or <laughs> something like that like, it's kind of like he's telling some sort of story about like some sort of hero in the past and maybe there was a war and this hero had to go somewhere and then he had to liberate his home or something <laughs> like it's kind of like he's just telling a story or something here it, it really sounds like that but this is the best ai so far like some you could hear it's kind of like made by computer right ai but this guy right there is so far the most uh, perfect one, like, I would say. But I would say also, I feel like the old English one was not too too much AI-ish, right? I would say like, old English and probably like, ancient Greek are the best so far. Like the Middle Egyptian, I'm sorry, but you could really hear this was like by computer. And old uh, Church Slavonic also sound very AI-ish, right? But those two here, old English and this one, I think it's like, yeah, it's like the best. Down. Ladon Lamon Meshilim, Schwersit Wuktosh, Pitayo, Ucharfot, Esh, Penny Wuyktosh, Bishat Rob, Tacht Rob Machnet, Bishat. Why do some words sound Arabic here? Lamia Nikasef, Bin Shasit Wasan, Bin Nimir, Esh, Bibani Masankau, Piteso Tam Bitim. Hatitanayapshnal, 
رمز سوپچ هم ارین دو زاوقی سو حتی توی زوات نیاز اخر متاسخ اتام خرب <laughs> it's actually funny. It's kind of like, you know how this looks like with the AI if you look at his face? It's like like the, the old school president of like the Inca Empire, like way back then, giving a speech to his freaking uh, civilians, like his population. It's like he's standing somewhere, like at a podest or something, and he's like the president and he's like speaking to his people. It sounds like the, uh, like the mimic, the way he's like standing here. This is so good. It's almost like Trump is speaking to some of his followers or Wow. This is actually mind blowing, guys. How many ancient languages there are? Yo, this was really fascinating. I learned so much today from reacting to this video. Yo, there are so many freaking ancient languages. And here's actually a guy in the comment section that says, uh, uh, he says, as an Icelandic, I understood about 90% of the Old Norse. Okay, so like this is a, this is what I thought too about some of those languages, like maybe like old like Middle Chinese, maybe Old English. Okay, I don't know if like old like old English was actually very tough for me to understand. And yeah, English is my second language, not my first one. But I feel like my English is pretty okay. So I, I'm like surprised I, I barely understood anything. But yeah, with like the old Japanese, perhaps like Middle Egyptian. Like maybe there are some slangs or languages that even people these days understand. Just like there are some words in, in old school Latin that are now being used in like modern Italian. And they have just been slightly altered to be like pronounced slightly different. But if you hear the Latin version, sometimes you can you can guess what it means or so, right? But this is interesting. So, so yeah, this is like where our modern language, like some languages come from, like, like we have here with Latin in, in, in like freaking Italian. Then we have like how old Japanese became like modern uh, Japanese, how like middle Egyptian became at some point Arabic and stuff like Egyptian slang Arabic. So this is fascinating, very, very fascinating. So yeah, what do you guys think about those ancient languages? Uh, did you understand any of those old languages? Like which one you actually understood parts of? And does anyone have any clue what they even talked about those AI generated uh, people here? Like I have no clue. There were no freaking subtitles. I just heard them speak an ancient language. I'm not sure were they telling a story, were they, I don't know, maybe reading out that their language went extinct in year so and so and it's just information they're sharing. Um, is it always the same text and they just said the same text in different languages here? Like, I'm not sure, but this was very fascinating to check out. Yeah, if you guys are new to this channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time.